people differ greatly in their uh, ability, their special skills, their special ability. And part of these differences are explained by their differences in cognitive ability, so in intelligence, for example. But there are several other factors that contribute to differences in spatial skills. Spatial anxiety is one of such factors. So spatial anxiety is really the anxiety that people feel while dealing with situations that involve a spatial component. For example, while navigating around a new city using a map or trying to figure out how to build flat pack furniture from instructions. And we really asked ourselves why people differ in spatial anxiety. And are the people who feel anxious about navigation also the people who do feel anxious about uh, smaller scale activities such as, for example, building flat pack furniture? We found that navigation anxiety is separate from smaller uh, scale activities anxiety such as we named it rotation and visualization anxiety. And we found that people differ in navigation anxiety and rotation visualization anxiety partly due to the differences in DNA. So genes contribute to explain why people differ in spatial anxiety. But then we wanted to really uh, investigate whether spatial anxiety is in fact different from other types of anxiety. Spatial anxiety is in fact separate from mathematics anxiety and general anxiety, also in its origins, so that the genes that contribute to navigation anxiety and rotation visualization anxiety are only partly the same genes that contribute to other types of anxiety. And why is this important? We think that this is fundamentally important for interventions. So children struggling with anxiety struggle a lot. You know, if these constructs were all the same, if general anxiety, mathematics anxiety and special anxiety were all the same, then interventions could be extended from those that have, that have been developed already for general anxiety that has been most widely studied, but this doesn't seem to be the case. So we really argue for interventions that are developed specifically for spatial anxiety. So this specificity should be really taken into consideration when developing interventions for spatial anxiety.